Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. We got more Peter Gabriel, our second track from Peter Gabriel. The first one that we did was a live performance. Yes, I like that one. It had a whole lot of tribal feel to it. Yeah, it was really cool. And uh, this one is one of his most popular, if not most popular song. Wow. Mostly, from what we understand, due to the music video. Yes, I'm excited to see that. And this was actually a part of our pop quiz in the last video that we did. We yes. asked them about Sledgehammer, yeah. see if they knew that one, and uh, now, now, we, now we've arrived. And I'm excited to check it out. Uh, this is post-Genesis, I believe, but still early in Peter Gabriel's career. So he'll so, be a little late, a little younger than last time. Yep, and uh, I don't know if this is deemed his prime or not, mm. but you guys can let us know in those comments. Yeah, We always appreciate your insights, so don't be shy. Drop it down low and let us know. And make sure you hit the like button if you do enjoy this video, because that's how the channel grows. When you guys hit that like button, leave us a comment, you subscribe, hit the notification bell that's how we've gotten to over a hundred thousand subscribers in less yes. than a year so thank you so much guys yeah we want to continue on that path so if you want to join us hit that button now enough said though let's start with some peter gabriel sledgehammer yeah well, before we jump into that though we have to give you guys a pop quiz question oh so sam's on her toes already today <laughs> and that is what world music festival did peter gabriel found in 1982 if you know that answer let us know in the comments. if not don't worry we'll tell you in about 10 minutes. <laughs> yes. All right, you ready? Yes. Let's go. Okay. From the album So. That sounds tribal already. Is, this, is that what I think it is? <laughs> it's um, a version of a tadpole, we'll say. Legs coming out of his mouth. 
That's a great uh, stop point there. Yeah, with uh, all these little swimmers around the screen. <laughs> <laughs> little swimmers. Yeah. That's what they're called, eh? <laughs> yeah. So um, how do you feel about uh, somebody being a sledgehammer? <laughs> I mean, this is like a lot going on here. Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> There's a little bit of sexual in- innuendo in this one? Yeah, but I mean, I almost missed that because the video was just so crazy that I'm like so locked in on what's going on on the screen. It is. It is quite distracting. I mean, there's a lot of effects going on. I can see why this video was acclaimed at the time. Yeah. It's very probably, you know, just innovative with the technology that they used mm-hmm. to construct it, right? Um, <clears throat> kind of like clay. It looks like clay. I don't know if that's... um. I think maybe I've heard the term claymation before. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Like animation, both clay. Yeah. Interesting. I mean, it's really, really cool for me to see this because they use a lot of stop motion in this, which it's just crazy to see how far that's come because I know like you're not a big TikTok guy, but on TikTok, like stop motion editing is really, really big right now, but Mm -hmm. with like real life video editing, right? So it's really cool how people can make items like move on their own or like, you know, like kind of like the stop go with the um, facial expressions and stuff like that. But to see it come from like this, you know, so long ago is really cool to see the evolution because I had no idea where that whole editing trend kind of came from. It just came out of nowhere. And I was like, oh, this is really cool. Revolutionary for its time, right? And uh, yeah, so I mean, clearly that's probably why the music video was was popular in Mm -hmm. line with the messaging of the song. Yeah. With those, some of those visuals as well. Yeah, like the fruit. Yeah. Fruit Um, cage. The fruit cage and (laughs) the sweetness within that fruit fruit cage. Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) Open it up for me. Yeah. And um, the, uh, what was the other one? I'll be the honeybee or something yeah, like that. Yeah, yeah. And there's quite a few in there, but um, it seems like he's just dropping a bunch of bars in here. It's almost like a, a partial rap song. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Obviously, he's talented, though, with the singing aspect yeah. as well. I like the, the groove of the song, too. Like It has it's this great. kind of like funky, but still soulful, like fun, playful kind of vibe. I yeah, like I, I love it. Um, it's, uh, like you said, a great, great vibe overall, feel-good track. Mm-hmm. Um but uh, it's also a little bit comedic, too. Yeah. So I'm really enjoying this one. I can see why it was a banger and why it blew up. Yeah, for sure. Me too. You, you want to keep it going and see yeah. where these tadpoles are going to fly to? Yeah, let's do it. And these legs coming out of the <laughs> mouth. With a little bit of a bush. <laughs> going all out on this video yeah hmm i can only imagine how long that took to make is that it we've got just the credits here yeah a lot of credits because it probably took a lot to make that especially at that time that's true so i mean uh we had a little bit of the outro there a little 
high energy outro mm -hmm. but uh, they added more to the animation side of things and uh it was really cool to see it was also cool to see peter you know much younger, younger yeah full set of hair yeah uh so clearly this is you know much much earlier than the last one that we watched yeah for and sure. i can't remember when that performance was but i would reckon then it was probably 25 years difference something mm. like that so um got to see him like i said doing his thing and yeah. i love that funky groove and me too uh, this is really creative so it was cool to see a glimpse back into time of looks like 1986 here right yeah which is awesome and like i said i'm obviously a visual person and i thought it was really cool to see how they did the video and you know it, it, like from an artistic standpoint, it probably took a long time to put all of that together and a lot of effort. So, yeah. you know, I think also too, it's cool because like you said, it's, it's something that wasn't common then. So to go out on, you know, a limb and, and maybe like to have that risk of not knowing how something like that would pan out, like if people would like it, if they wouldn't, if it would be popular or not. So to take that creative risk, I think is also like admirable on his part. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And it would also have been a little bit risky going up to a bar in a bar and saying to somebody, can I be your sledgehammer? <laughs> Open your fruit cage. <laughs> Maybe you guys have tried that. If you have, let us know in those comments. Some new pickup lines for you guys. And uh, let us know about Peter Gabriel. If there's anything else that you want us to check out, we appreciate yeah. your guidance in that department. So uh, let us know in those comments. Make sure you hit the like button. And before we go, Samantha is going to tell you the answer to that pop quiz question that we gave you in the beginning of the video. Yes. And the answer to the World Music Festival that he founded was WOMAD, which stands for World of arts no world of music arts and dance there you go <laughs> <laughs> acronym got it right yes and uh so if you didn't know that well now you do and if you did congratulations you're a smart person yes. you learned something new if you didn't all right guys so that's it from us today we'll be back tomorrow we got two videos every single day so if you want to hit the subscribe button the notification bell we'll see you in our next video see you guys then